we are recording. Yay! We are both so perky and so up to it right now. Mm-hmm. 100%. <laughs> 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 mm -mm. We're like the busy working people, yo. Mm. Yep. That Zombies. Is me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, okay. I was thinking about this last night. Um, the whole, this is going to sound very silly. Uh, yes, it does. But I'm not sure Corey would say it that way, so... Maybe we come back and examine that later. Uh, okay, uh. so maybe... Because I think oh, he I... believes that... it w Like, he thought he'd seen it, right? Okay, uh, let me let me rewind a little bit here. So all first right. of all, we are dealing with uh, forum leakage. We are still uh, editing slash adapting our forum posts into reading samples. And in this case, we have encountered a post where we are doing pretty heavy adapting. So we, we are we're basically writing a reading sample based on what we would like to say with that forum post so this mm. is that's that's why it's so so full of uh, green notes and 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 everything but now back to the text itself keep in mind Corey is not saying what he believes to be true or like this this isn't about what Corey believes this is about Corey presenting the case to a stranger so ah, it, okay. Corey, right, Corey okay, is okay. presenting his case to Smith here. So it's like Smith is asking, well, "What's, what's, what's this all about?" And uh, and that's that's why Corey sh Corey would say like, e "Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna believe us, but that's that's the point. That's why it's this is going to sound very silly." So I I could I could change the text itself, but. I clearly disagree with the point that uh, whether Corey, uh, the point that if Corey believes that they really did time travel, he shouldn't say it. He should, he could say it differently. But uh, but this is this is about him trying to uh, present a ludic ludicrous premise to somebody uh, they hadn't met until this day. All right, cool. I think I prefer the uh, the alternative. Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna believe us, but we it's, thought we'd... it's more like uh, I would I would put it more like uh, yeah I know how this sounds, but <laughs> and while you work on that. I will recap a little bit. So, this is wow post nine in the series of a forum thread that we call Deja Vu. We have actually worked through seven of these posts because two of those were already in the reading samples earlier. But here, this is the sort of story junction point where some old characters meet some new characters and everything has been thrown into an influx of time space of wedgie that is sort of reframing the whole story into a bigger conspiracy and like inside the globe there is another bigger globe etc that that sort of that sort of deal and now uh, the characters have just been given some handy exposition in the previous Previously, <laughs> in the previous posts, our characters have been given some handy exposition on how a certain Dr. C, uh, who used to be their uh, main antagonist in the older forum threads before I came along, uh, how, how their favorite Dr. C has been doing some experiments with time space continuum or time space time fabric reality whatever 
space time wedgie techno bubble techno bubble techno bubble and uh, now these guys have been pulled into a parallel timeline which they perceived initially as traveling back in time and indeed they they have believed previously that they had been able to somehow initiate some sort of crude time travel and that they they have believed previously that they have been able to influence certain uh, certain events and now while they are sort of smugly uh, describing the oh it's not what we thought we actually thought uh, we actually jumped dimensions and it makes perfect sense when they're when they are doing the explaining suddenly the reality dawns on one of them that whoa shit that means <laughs> everything we have done up until now doesn't didn't change anything so we're like, whoa <laughs> mm. and this is this is the scene that we are currently figuring out here it's been good fun i know i i moan and shit and i think one of the things i said yesterday was this post is now in a situation where I'd be, or it's in a format where I'd be more happy to share it than the original one. Mm -hmm. um, but it's been good fun just going back through this with you and scrubbing it up a little yeah. bit. Yeah, and I mean, doing the original run or the original forum thread was pretty fun too. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, the at some point there was some pretty intense posting like a few posts a week and and, and so on good times <laughs> right. it was deja vu was good and i think the name worked out quite well because it was a sort of a little reminder into how the forum used to run <laughs> when me and keo and I can't remember who else. I think Kyth and a couple of others boats. We'd all sit in like a messenger. I think it was AOL Instant Messenger or something, or MSN or something really old. And uh, whenever one of us would post something, it would be straight into the messenger to say we posted, and then someone else would Whee! get to work on their one. And it was really, a f it was a fast flowing thing. Mm -hmm. It was really interesting, and I was glad to see that brought back with Deja Vu. It sort of the namesake made sense and the environment was good so yeah I had fun I'm still having fun it's the <laughs> gift that keeps on giving <laughs> okay mm -hmm. meanwhile back at the scrapyard So I think the beginning is starting to take shape. Corey took a long thoughtful toke. A recap of what the fuck just happened? Anyone? <laughs> Pull these together. And again, uh, right now, even though we are doing a whole lot of editing and, and, and adapting here, we're keeping the standards reasonably low. So, <laughs> not, not trying to polish everything into very polished state, just, just in a state that makes sense, mostly. This is stupid. <laughs> I will I, 
I will recolor this uh, this whole text because this seems pretty complete to me already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid. It's such a. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Add some thoughtful ellipses. Is this how he would say it? Perhaps that is how things have always worked. We just didn't have a way of knowing about it. What if that's just how reality well is. Yeah, that works. <coughs> and now I'm thinking there should be a small bead between his sort of having delivered the point and happy about it and then like, uh, uh oh. <laughs> mm hmm. So he's like, yeah, dwell on that, bitches. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's uh, just, just as an example, like he kept on, he cast a gentle smile on Corey's See, I never used to have a problem with the word toward and towards. I uh, I think I instinctively got them right until I read from somewhere that that it's problematic. Like okay. sometimes sometimes you have to use towards and sometimes you have to u use toward. And the moment I started thinking about it, I was like, oh, fuck, I have no clue. Uh <laughs> I think, uh, like, I, I will have to look it up, but I think it's somewhat similar as farther and further. Like, one one is physical and the other is uh, abstract. I don't know. I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I think I just used the two interchangeably. I didn't even know there was a... Yeah. If it was... He cast a gentle smile toward Corey. I think maybe that's one, but then if he cast a gentle smile towards the others, is it a difference between singular and a group? I don't know. <laughs> it could be anything. English is weird. Then... What's Google's problem with wide? Wife. Then his wife, magnanimous smile vanished. They shouldn't have given I Google. Think <laughs> then his... uh, actually, I think I will move the magnanimous as well. Gentle magnanimous smile towards the others and not it content. <laughs> 
insert the chirp 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 here and then then vanished and yeah, cool So in in a book quality text uh, this would need some work but I think here we are we're cool. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Bam. Oh, okay, I will also remove heroic BSOD from here <laughs> because we have discussed it. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like <laughs> it's like in uh in uh Wasteland 2 dialogue system, you get certain keywords and uh, you can actually type in the keywords after after your dialogue with, uh, with, with that character has already been you know, iterated once and okay, certain topics re uh, repeat, but certain topics are like one-off, so if you miss your opportunity to talk about something or if you miss the check, then uh, then you can't bring it up anymore. Or like it's the game doesn't offer you bringing it up anymore. You can type in the word, and then you get the. This was already discussed. <laughs> so, for example, uh, I literally uh, saw the text on the screen. As has already been discussed. <laughs> So now we need to continue with what Corey says in in reply. Then Axel dropped to the ground. Uh, and mumbling. Like, So basically, it's all coming crashing down. What action are we going for? Drop into the ground. Sank to his knees. Oh. Good stuff. And clutched himself, mumbling. Or clutched his his shoulders, mumbling. I don't know if you can say he clutched himself. I suppose he could uh, he could hug himself, or he, he he could hug his legs, wrap his hands around his legs. I know that his knees are on the ground, so he he it, yeah. It's more like he would be clutching his shoulders or hugging his shoulders or like <laughs> it's the pro feet uh, before pre pre fetal pose mm. uh, I'm actually going to drop on my knees hang on <laughs> um, oh I've gone immediately for my head if I'm stressed and I yeah, I don't. I haven't wrapped my hands around my shoulders. I've I've gone straight for my head, as if to say, I don't know, like clutching my hair or oh, whatever. Oh, oh, oh! He has already clutched his hair. So we can we can uh, skip all the clutching and grabbing. He could just rock back and forth. Ooh. So Corey sank to his knees and uh, Nux sank to his knees and rocked back and forth, mumbling. Like this? Or, or even began rocking rocking and mumbling to himself. <laughs> you know the drill. Mm -hmm. 
Let's grab this. Because this is pretty good, I think. This yeah, was the... awesome. Yeah. So maybe not as complete sentences. More hmm. like, all for nothing. Haven't... Haven't changed a thing. No, not full sentences. Okay, step step back. Okay. Move move down one line. Oh, we already have that. Okay. Okay, got ya. And then the next one's a Smith line, I think. <laughs> I think I know what to say. And now Corey can be the explaining hero and like mm, this is this might sound a little preposterous but Mm-hmm. So I could, we've covered this now. He Nux mm -hmm. has done his thing, Corey yes. uh, Smith's yeah. done her reply, let's get rid yes, of that. The, the, not detailed delete, yes. Mm -hmm. Corey lets another cigarette at this point. <laughs> he might even do the chain thing. Uh, uh let's just go straight from Just just light another cigarette. Say smoke. I like smoke better than cigarette. Mm. Maybe not another lit the next smoke. Mm, I think I preferred another. Oh, okay. <laughs> Correlate another smoke. Correlate his next smoke? Mm, just let's stick to the another. Okay. I like, I like it in... I, I think I read it in a... I can't remember what the book was years ago. It might even have been a web post where you know a character, a smoking character, is nervous when they light one cigarette off the other one yeah. and continue smoking. I love that action in books because I've done that a couple of times. Yeah. I haven't had a lighter. <laughs> a kind soul has lit one cigarette for me, and I've got a box of ten or whatever, and I've had to. <laughs> I wanted to get through another couple, but <laughs> no lighter. All right, Corey lit another smoke. Uh. uh Uh, this is where he could get patronizing. So instead of saying like this might sound preposterous, he could say, "Now th this might be a little bit hard for you to believe, but okay, so he, he could he could try to act all all uh, expert and knowing here because I don't know about the." the edited iteration of Cory, but the forum iteration of Cory did get the hell up patronizing every now and again. <laughs> I wouldn't... I, I... I... Yes, patronizing. Uh, but for you... 
is a bit on the nose, I think, maybe. This might be a little bit difficult for you to understand. It might, he might just say it might be difficult to understand. Um, maybe not understand, but believe. Okay. And... Uh, it could be... Now... What was the original... So this this is the huffing and puffing place, like... Mm. Yeah, now I get that this might be a little hard to believe, but which one do you prefer? I get how this might. Or maybe even I get how this might, uh, how this must sound to you, but so in this case it's le less about patronizing. But yeah, I know we we look like a bunch of loonies. Mm. Sound, sound, definitely sound. He's talking mm. about what he's about to say. And then it goes into the, we thought we'd figured yeah. out how to time travel. Ellipsis? Yeah. Okay. Go back fixing. There you know. could be some more huffing and puffing in between, but we can add that late in later. Mm -hmm. you know, we thought we had fixed things. Saved loved ones. Presented, prevented disasters. You know the drill. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I can get rid of this bit as well now, can't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, okay. So, and there could be like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, actually, you could add, add the long year <laughs> in the beginning there. Before yes, Corey be lit another smoke? Uh, hmm, I don't know. Actually, yeah. I put what? it before here. <laughs> How do we draw this out? Is it additional? What? Yeah. Okay, so it's like, I, I guess like that. Maybe a few extra H's as well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I get how this must sound to you, but we thought we'd figured out how to time travel. Go back, fix things. You know, we thought we had fixed things. Saved loved ones, prevented disasters. You know the drill. I like that. <laughs> I think you've got Corey's voice spot on there. Okay, so there is the repetition line now. Here. Boop. And then we got this one as well, I think. Oh yeah, okay. Get rid? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, now that we actually have the rocking back and forth here, I, I will move. I will remove it from the earlier one. Okay. So we could repeat some of his lament. So at this point he could... Since we have already covered a lot of his doings... Rocking... Back and forth...
or still mumbling. Yeah. More fragmented for nothing. <laughs> and some of the stuff that we attributed to Nox earlier, we could actually have Corey say it because, I mean, his logic should be uh, should be good enough that he can say uh, like I know why he's upset if if all this if if this whole premise is true we didn't save anybody from situation anything da -da -da -da. Maybe we can jump back to Nox here as well and fragment this. And then that's when Corey could be like, well, not unless you re find a way to mm -hmm. return. Yeah, yeah. So the coherent speech would be Corey's and the not so coherent speech could be Nox's, but they are both essentially uh, addressing the same thing. I can get rid of still happening, right? Uh, put it, move it uh, at the beginning of his oh, okay. thingy. Such a he's n such a drama queen. <laughs> such a drama queen. <laughs> Ellipsis forward. Yeah, and he could, and in the end of his uh, long wailing, he could uh, look up. <laughs> uh, through the tears and say and and there's nothing we can do to help <laughs> and and that's like not unless we find a way to return to blah 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 mm-hmm <laughs> yeah, bring pull this up. Uh, yeah, we need to figure this out. But this is brilliant. Uh, there needs to be a Nux thing here, Nux action, mm -hmm. just to show he's talking. Um, uh, actually, I think I have an idea. Ooh. So let me move something, Corey. Mm. So if we add this explaining sentence to this explaining sentence, uh, no, I don't. Uh, no, 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 no. Shh. Easy Google. Uh, <laughs> so if if we add the we didn't save anybody. Da 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 da. If we add this this point, and then Nox actions bring uh, are together. So it's. It's one less, uh, one less, um, not interaction, one less layer okay. of interactions. So we thought we had fixed things.
Oh, we can just say everything is still happening. Yo. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> And now, Corey doesn't have to say I know he's upset. This is the, if this whole premise is true. He he literally just said this. So mm -hmm. I will remove this from here. I am, and we will bring this together for nothing. Still happening. All gonna die. We can get rid of this note here, can't mm -hmm. we? Yes, we can. Yeah. And we can get rid of rocking back. Oh, uh, did you? No. Oh, okay, this is okay. This is where it's staying. Sorry, yeah, I had a little this, bit. This starts. There. This starts the new cycle. But we do get rid of this. Mm-hmm. For nothing, and also this. Still happening. All gonna die. <laughs> okay, practical question. Can he even cry? He can cry out of one eye. Okay. <laughs> He's got one good eye. Although not fogged up is probably your vision can fog up, but your but th this is like what what he is looking like to the others. Flooded. Well, it's more like you know when some when somebody has been crying a long time, then their mm -hmm. eyes are sort of like dulled. Oh, dull. This something something younger Noxus and his younger self keep that one for some other uh, interaction, I think. Okay. Uh, let me change this a little bit. So let's start with. Not unless we find. Way to return to where we started. I'm going to get rid of this, save it for elsewhere. Okay. Hmm. Of course. Like, is is this something that Corey would say, or maybe it's something that Smith sort of hesitantly says, like, not unless you, not unless you get back to where you came from. But that works better, because that shows that she's already getting a good understanding of what's going on, I think. But but also, she, it's it's like, it's a, it's a smart-ass thing to say, like, you kind of can't help it, but on the other hand, you're going to try to minimize the snootiness there. Yeah, it works. I think I think Smith should be the one to do it, definitely. Okay. Not unless... And in 
this case and this would be like she's not even addressing them it's mm -hmm. more like uh, more like thinking out loud mm -hmm. so it's like pondering to herself mm -hmm. I know that officially mm. you can't use the word think out loud, but this is exactly what she's <laughs> doing! <laughs> loud and this is like a, a pause thingy so the the whole wailing and despair and woe is be can go on for a while before the <coughs> Yo, we are here. <laughs> <Pops up. laughs> so basically, and scene. And new scene. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. No, I was just looking at the notes. So what does this all mean? What the heck are we supposed to do now? Guys are like, oh, what was me? <laughs> <laughs> This is a word now. <laughs> nice.
So basically, you can start the scene just with the others showing up. Later, we might find that something belongs between the woe is me and yo, we are here. But right now, just just start with the with them showing up. Okay. Uh, what's this? More people. Ooh. Actually, I think I have uh, a way of uh, tying these together. So we already ha we are already in Smith action. So it's like unless you. Uh, so she could see that somebody's approaching. Like, uh, guys, do you know these people? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, while you figure that out, I'm going to take a quick mm -hmm. bathroom break. I shall return shortly. Where did my cursor go? Say again. Where did my cursor go? Also, I will bank this recording because we have figured out the first scene. So, mm -hmm. thank you very much for watching, everybody. See you soon. Bye.